it's me Rafa Deletera and welcome to my channel. For today's vlog, I will do a reaction video to a song by Vladimir Vysotsky. My favorite. Because you are so dear to me, now it's my turn to share with you my favorite Russian song. From my favorite Russian songwriter, singer, and poet, Vladimir Vysotsky. I so like this guy. He's very genius when he's creating music. Because now, finally, we are growing in numbers. <laughs> Thanks, goodness. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> because it's wrong. Round of applause. So, anyway. <laughs> the song title is Piesnia Odrukia. Yeah, because I already established some loyal subscribers. Thanks so much. I dedicate this video to my newfound friends in the internet. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Actually, I'm learning this song because, you know, it's very important when you're learning Russian. The best way to improve Russian grammar and vocabulary is by learning some songs. And this song, I tried to learn it by heart. It's actually one of my favorite. So whenever I do something and I want to listen to something, I always put on my headset and listen to Wisotsky. Kita, malaga skizat, may share about that. Chuchu. Ah, what? Nagsnyo. Let's start. So this video has English subtitles so that my non-Russian friends can understand. Yeah, so they will not be left out. Anyway, let's start. Если друг оказался вдруг, never gets old. И не враг, а так. Если сразу не разберешь, плох он или хорош, парня в горы тени рискни, не бросай одного его, пусть он в связке в одной с тобой, там поймешь, кто такой. You hear it's very very special. It's like. The only way to understand your friend, to know your friend, who who is your real friend, you bring them to the mountain. It's like you take your friend whenever you go in every step of your life, especially during the most difficult times, and it's when you will know who's the best one, who's the one who will stay with you till hell freezes over or something like that. Yeah, it's a beautiful lyrics. This guy is really a genius. I <laughs> like when he's whistling. Если парень в горах не ад, если сразу раскис и вниз, шаг ступил на ледник и сник, оступился и в крик, значит рядом с тобой чужой, ты его не брони, гони, вверх таких не беру. I will not sing for such person. You hear the sound, it's like they have this 1960s vibes, but it's very special. It's legend. Пусть он хмур был и зол, но шел. А когда ты упал со скал, он стонал, но держал. Если шел он с тобой, как в бой, на вершине стоял хмельной, значит, как на себя самого положись на него. Если шел он с тобой, как бой, на вершине стоял хмельной, значит, как на себя самого положить на него. Вертикаль. It's so beautiful. 
You see, the movie is very, very meaningful. That's the reason why I love Bisoa's Kid. Ah, that's... <laughs> this is why I love Bisoa's Kid. He's writing a very, very symbolic song. It's not really symbolic, it's just idiomatic. But, yeah. It's so beautiful and very meaningful. It goes to the heart. Whenever I s hear this music, I still I can imagine myself on the mountain with my very good friend. Yeah, so it's like my song for my friend. <laughs> and it's also my song for you guys. You see, along the way, I had encountered several hardships. Some I have no views or something, but then you still some of my very loyal sub subscribers, they are still there. So this is my song of appreciation for friend whom will not let me fall to the cliff. <laughs> so thank you so much guys. You are the best. And anyway, I have read an article that, you know, there are several Russian rappers. The first Russian rapper was Pushkin. It's according to the article. It's not my own, you know, words. According to the article, the first Russian rapper was Pushkin because of, during this era. And then, yeah, we have Vysotsky during the Soviet time. And then now we have this Jahaled, Miyagi, uh, we have Timati. So that's how it evolves. But I really enjoy listening to the monologues of Vysotsky. Uh, maybe next time I will do reaction video to his monologues and I will try to explain so that my non-Russian friends will understand the song. Because really, it's so beautiful. I really want to share these things to the world that Russian has this kind of gem. So we don't just listen to American songs, we also have to listen to Russian songs. Yeah. So, again, I talk too much. So, I think that's all for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you will not get tired of supporting my channel. Thank you so much. Sayonara and peace out.